Hey guys, here's my quick review of the Roland RD2000. My bottom line is, I really don't like this piano. And it has to do with one simple thing. I think it has a pretty crappy piano sound. I like everything about this, uh, except for the main piano sound, which is I like the action, I like the options, I like the fact it has two mod wheels, and a lot of different things, but I just hate the piano sound. I'll just play something for you using the different pianos and you can judge for yourself, but I personally found it to be really boomy and uninspiring. Here's Stage Grand, which is the main piano of this instrument. Now my comparison point was the sound in the RD700GX, which I owned prior to buying this RD2000. And one of the things Roland did was they actually made this sound available as an expansion to this piano. So what I did was I went to their site and I downloaded the piano sound of the RD700GX. And I can access it by pressing a button here called the EXP button. And this is precisely the sound I had in my previous piano. And I'll play something with it as well. Personally, I think it sounds at least as good, if not much better, than the boxy RD2000 main sound. Again, let me play just a small progression between, you know, using the two sounds so you can hear it. Using the RD2000 sound. Now the Roland's, the RD700GX sound. some high registers, RD2000, RD700GX. Now some of you might be saying, well, this is just one sound, stage ground. Surely there are other pianos and you can tweak this. This is supposed to be a physical modeling piano. Uh, now, granted, I'm not a great programmer, so maybe you can tweak this in some very convincing way, but I haven't been able to find such an option. I've also played through a lot of the different other sounds here, and I'll play a few for you now, and I haven't been able to find a really satisfactory piano sound. Uh, let's, for example, look at this solo jazz grand sound. Again, not too bad, but still, at least, I mean, it's on par or worse than the 700 GX sound.
Let's try a few other piano sounds. Here's their piano plus choir, and I'll turn down the choir because I think it kind of detracts. Again, it has the same kind of boxy sound that characterizes all of the RD2000 pianos. And in my opinion, this probably has to do with the fact that these pianos are completely, and I mean completely, uh, physically modeled and not sampled, at least according to the Roland site. Uh, everything else about this board is great. Uh, the touch is great, you know, the action is great, the controls are great, the electric piano sounds are great. You know, if I just look at their 1975 time piano sound, great. You know, here's their 1979 time piano sound. And I could go through other sounds and convince you that this, this piano is really something uh, and it really performs well on all other counts, but I find it unacceptable that a digital piano has a crappy main piano sound. And that's kind of my review. Uh, if you're considering this piano, please, please do yourself a favor and go play it in the store and compare it to other pianos. I've personally I actually regret not following my initial instincts and intuition and getting this piano anyway just because I'm kind of a Roland fanboy, or at least used to be. Um, going back to the same store and trying Kawaii pianos like the ES100 uh, and also some workstation pianos like the Korg, uh, Triton piano and the Nords, uh, I personally feel like Roland have really dropped the ball on this particular instrument and my bottom line is just don't buy it or at least do yourself a favor and test other pianos before dropping the you know your money on this board. That's it I hope uh, I've given you some food for thought and hopefully I'll see you next time.